Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Godson, and we're coming back for another episode of The King vs. Pekka. And you guys, this is the final episode where we are putting them in the goblin maps because uh, someone requested that I do that. So we're going to judge them by how many weapons and targets they can take down before they go out. And so the Pekka's in first, ladies first. She takes out two, and then she gets stuck on a wall. And she's going to go down here with only 11%. So that's really good, a really nice attack. Let's actually go back. Let's get the king in here, and then we're gonna start it again. And you guys, uh, again, this is gonna be three rounds where we're putting them in the goblin maps. We're gonna check and see who has the highest percentage, and then that should determine the winner. And there's gonna be about three of these raids that we're gonna do. So the king's going in, the mega bomb blew up. He's taking out that wizard tower, and all the weapons are just going crazy on him. He's almost down, a quarter of life left. He's about to take out the cannon and then also get stuck on the wall as well. So, that is tie game at 11% each. Now let's actually go back to the goblin map and see if we can find a base that's better. How about the queen's gambit? And uh, let's try the king this time. We're gonna start him off right behind this rock as the start point and let's see if the king can do better on this attack so he's walking his way in he's maneuvering around the bombs they're blowing up and now he's going for the archer towers he's taking out one he's working on the second one and it looks like this is a smaller map so he should be able to do some good damage on here and it shouldn't be too hard for him he's about halfway life half of his health is gone and now he just has to worry about the cannons and the mortars over there. So he's working his way around. These should be one-shot buildings. Yep. Okay. Now the storages are have a higher hit point, so this might slow him down a bit. But hopefully he can get these done without dying. Let's see if he can do this. Two more hits. Come on. Oh. Okay, that's 50%. Good stuff. He's got the cannon. Whoa, so close. And the mortar, since it's uh, it's uh, splash damage and it has a range of uh, further away, it couldn't have hit him, but he goes down right by the hut. And that's the equivalent of the town hall for, um, for the goblins. Okay, you guys, so we're gonna get our P.E.K.K.A.s in here next. I believe that was, um, what was it, Queen's Gambit. Let's go in Queen's Gambit again. And we're gonna put the Pekka in now. And we're gonna start at the same place, right behind this rock, and we're gonna see how she does, if she fares any better. So she's walking down, she's moseying. She's about to maneuver through these walls. The bombs are going off, the traps are getting set off, and she's starting on the Archer Towers. Now, this is pretty weird because she's actually going for different targets now. And she's not even, she's disregarding the other Archer Towers. And this could, cost her some points here because they're still attacking her and she's going for other buildings so it doesn't look good for the P.E.K.K.A. she's at 30% though and she might go down after this storage here oh good try that's 30% though 35% actually so the queen the king actually won that round okay you guys and now the last map jump around so we can settle the score hopefully if the P.E.K.K.A. can catch up this round uh, then we can go on to the fourth one however if she doesn't then this will call it if it's a tie or um, the king pulls ahead so she's working her way around she's taking out all of these storages and the P.E.K.K.A. does have a really solid uh, a really strong attack a lot better than the king's if she's trying to get through walls but they're pretty much even in walk speed and one-shotting these buildings so now the only problem is they're gonna come up to a wall after this air defense is taken down and they're gonna be stuck if she can hopefully get through this wall with only a few hits and manage to get that mortar before she goes out this might be uh, this round may be in her favor however this looks like this might be it the Pekka goes down on that final wall right there so you guys let's try the king and put him in here 
let's get back to the jump around map and see if he can fare any better. Okay, we're gonna start off at the same point where the P.E.K.K.A did. Let's put him in here and let's see where he goes. And already these guys are just going crazy on him. They're attacking him. They're shooting arrows in his back. He's trying to get out of there. He's running for the next target. Uh, King, you gotta hurry because they're shooting you. You must run. Fight through the pain. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry you guys, I'm being biased. Uh, it doesn't matter who wins. I just wanna see who the best one is. <laughs> okay, so the king has his eye on the money. He wants that loot. He says, if I don't win, at least I'll be rich. Dang. Ah! Man, that cannon's going right for his kneecaps. Taking him out. You better hurry, man. Okay, he's in the final stretch. The king's just about there. He can't run too fast with those sandals on. So now he just has to get through this wall. He's working his way in. It's going to take him a few more hits because the P.E.K.K.A. has a better sword. He's, this king still has his butter knife, even at level 40. Ugh. He's taking out the mortar. And down he goes. Same spot. Whoa, so that was a really close one, but it's tie game, so that means the king wins one to zero. You guys, thank you for watching. I really enjoyed this series. If you want to see more, let me know in the comment box, and I will see you next time. Godson out.